the whistles go. Whoa! Hey, how's it going, Team Coco? This is uh, me, Blake Anderson, and I would like to show you some of my very, 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 very favorite videos from YouTube. Nearly every muffler shop in Oakland is installing Whistler tips. It's my first video is a classic. We're talking about Bub Rub and Lil Sis. Come on, you remember? Whoa, whoa, the whistle tip video? It's called a whistle tip, and it's welded inside a car's muffler to make the car screechingly loud for nearly a mile. Tell me about the whistles. The whistles go whoo! Bub Rub, guy is a Bay Area legend. Raiders head to toe. It's that whoo, whoo! Everybody in the neighborhood was kind of like freaking out. It's driving me nuts. I work at home. I can't concentrate. But Bub Rub's like, what's the big deal? We're just out here styling. Some neighbors are saying way too loud. That's only in the morning. Yeah. He's supposed to be up cooking breakfast or somebody. And so that's like an alarm clock. Woo, woo! It's like an alarm clock. Woo, woo! Bub Rub and Little Sis were proud to show it off. <laughs> Some Oakland residents will complain about the noisemakers Tuesday night at the city council meeting. My next video, another classic. It's a running theme with my videos because I only watch classic things. Mr. Luger, Mr. Luger. This is a little bit of a blooper from the pro wrestler Lex Luger. What kind of disgusting, despi despicable lack of respect does that Billy What's-His-Name show? This is absolutely one of my favorites because Lex Luger basically is just completely botching this interview and the frustration pouring out of him is just classic comedy. Booking a match for the total package Lex Luger and Super Brawl? Super Saturday? What is it? I don't even know what it's called. What is it called? S Super Brawl Saturday. Super Brawl Saturday? He tries taking his shirt off. He's like, God! Your t-shirts are too tight, Billy! Oh man, what's the last line he says? Oh, I'm pissed now! Look at me! I'm a total package! I will rip him apart! I'm pissed now! I basically am just quoting them. Video three, very, very special and dear to my heart. This is uh, the Peer Pressure Dance Crew. What's up? Pretty Ricky late night special. Wow, you are in for it, because this dance crew has some moves like you've never seen. I can kind of demonstrate them for you. It's a lot of this. It's a lot of that. There's no nudity, but there is some air humping. Enjoy. All right, shifting gears a little bit. We're stepping out of comedy and just going straight into epic storytelling. A snake's eyes aren't very good, but they can detect movement. So if the hatchling keeps its nerve, it may just avoid detection. It's the story of this little iguana dude escaping this huge pack of snakes. <laughs> It's just mind blowing. It's like the greatest story. It's the best movie I've seen in 10 years. I hope it's not CGI. I don't think, it, I think it's actual true footage. And it's completely real. It's completely nature. Planet Earth, what a special place we live on in. What a special, Earth is so nice. A near miraculous escape. All right, this last video is a little something for all the little stony balonies out there. Why don't you go ahead and type in Malice in Wonderland. This is an adult animation. It starts off with a lot of vaginal art, but once you get through that, it gets pretty freaking trippy, dude. It's like a reinterpretation of Alice in Wonderland, but oh man, they just don't make cartoons like this anymore. Mostly with lots of vaginal art. I'm like trying to avoid saying the word vagina, but something tells me that vaginal art sounds worse. It does, doesn't it? Sorry. Oh, I've had such a curious dream. Hey. 
thanks for watching. I just hope you watch all five of my videos over and over and over again until they're burnt into your brains like they are in mine. Satisfaction. And your t-shirts are too tight too, Billy!